Hey guys, I just want to do a quick but thorough review of CyanogenMod 7 for the DroidX. If you haven't heard already, DroidX has recently become one of the many devices that is now supported by CyanogenMod. Before we go any further, I have to give major props to the developer CVPCS for finding a workaround to the lock bootloader which allows us to uh, install CyanogenMod on our DroidXs. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm uh, currently running the nightly uh, seventh version, the, the beta nightly seven version. They're, they're up to build 11 right now. Um, I've only been on seven at this point for the last uh, two or three days. And I have to say I'm very, very impressed with it. It's uh, really smooth and uh, for a beta, it's very stable. There are a couple bugs um, that are not supported just yet, which I'm going to get into. I say bugs, a couple apps that are not supported yet, and I'm going to get into those in a minute. But I wanted to go ahead and show you some of the uh, features and how well this thing gets around right now. It comes with ADW uh, launcher built in, and um, like I said, it's running really, really nice. For those of you who are not familiar with CyanogenMod, they have a built-in power widget in the notification bar which allows you to toggle off certain items. And you can change that. You can put whatever you want up there. And I'm going to get into that. I'm going to actually show you in the settings menu. This is where the ROM really shines. If you, whoops, if you go into CyanogenMod settings, there are just a ton of tweaks and mods you can do to this to make this more functional and uh, you know, suited to your liking. Uh, I'm going to go into a couple of them, or actually all of them, just to show you what you, you can expect. If you go under the application setting, it will allow you to choose where you want your applications to be installed um, as far as your SD card or locally. You also have phone goggles uh, here, which will allow you to filter your phone numbers uh, for your dialer and messaging and so forth. Uh, if you go into display, you have screen on animation, screen off animation. Screen off animation is the CRT old school TV uh, look whenever you turn it off. It just That's all it is, just a, a cool little animation for it. Um, this right here though, let's wait for the camera to adjust here. The acceleration, uh, accelerometer rotation. If you have that set, you can turn the phone any direction you want and the screen will go with it. So that's really cool. If you go into input, uh, there's a couple things in here. Uh, your home button, menu button, and search key. You can change whatever you want uh, for those. Uh, haptic feedback tweaks. Um, this right here is really cool. The volume button and camera button music controls. If you have your music playing and you hit the sleep button and your phone's turned off but the music's playing, you can control um, the seek forward and seek back with your uh, volume buttons and your camera button will actually play and pause it. So that's really cool. If you go into interface, there's a bunch of things you can change here. Notification power widget is one of them that I was messing with. This is where you can control which toggles are going to be at the top up there. So let's say you want Bluetooth on there. As soon as you press it, you can see right there on the on the uh, right hand side, Bluetooth is now up there. And this is scrollable, so once you put a bunch of them up there, you can scroll over and uh, put quite a few of them up there. I'm not, I haven't really seen how many for sure, but it, a lot of them will go up there. Um, you can change. Um, you can make the notification bar go away when you hit the toggle. You can hide the little indicators, hide the scroll bar, change the color of the buttons. Um, you can change the order, which buttons you want where up there. So we're going to back out now. Status bar tweaks. If you decide you don't want the clock at the top right, you can uncheck it, and the clock disappears. It's instant. Battery percentage, AM, PM style. You can just change so many things in here. Um, overscroll effect, uh, overscrolling weight. If you go into lock screen, you can change the style. So if you want the sliding tab or the rotary or the new rotary that they have, or lens style, um, incoming call even for that matter, you can change that to uh, sliding tab, rotary, and so forth. Cancel out of that. Um, custom app starter, where if you don't, if you're not locking your phone and you just have the slide on it, 
Um, you can start up a certain app, whichever one you want. You can set it that way under a custom uh, application. Uh, let's see. Delay and timeout. That's where you just tell it how long you want your screen on and off for. Uh, all right, let's see. If we go into performance, it's going to give you a warning not to mess with this unless you know what you're doing because you can cause negative um, negative impact on the way it responds. So we're not going to mess with any of that. If you go into sound, you can set quiet hours, um, change a bunch of different things. I'll let you look at that for a minute. Volume if music is playing for your notifications, ringtones, and so forth. And let's see, if you go into system, that's where you can view the change log and send in anonymous uh, statistics, update notifications. That way I'll let you know when a new nightly comes in. Like I said, this is on nightly 7, and they're as high as 11 as of today. Um, I haven't played with anything higher than 7 yet, so I didn't want to review anything and recommend it uh, without knowing for sure to you guys. But 7 so far has been amazing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, well, actually i tell you what, let me get into something else too. If you don't have enough with the Cyanogen Mod settings, you can also go into ADW settings. If you're not familiar with that launcher, there's a bunch of tweaks you can do, the UI settings, the drawer settings, screen preferences. If you decide you want a transition like the cube scrolling effect, you can control the scrolling speed, all that stuff. So you see now you have a cube effect on it. So I just wanted to show you, you can dig around in all those settings. There are plenty of things to make the phone the way you like it. So I'm going to go ahead and get into where you can find this at. I'm not going to really get into how to install it unless you guys request for a video asking for that. But the developer CVPCS posted the links for the files and directions on Roots Wiki, which I'm going to have a link in the uh, description. And he also posts on here the things that are known to not work. Don't you see that? The camcorder and camera, there is a temporary fix for that, but he's not really supporting it. Um, he wants the code to be built from source, so for right now we just have a temporary fix, and I'm going to show you where to find that. also says there have been reports that YouTube is a hit or miss, and Torch, which is a flashlight app, closes, uh, force closes. The camera fix, at, uh, the camera fix that I'm going to show you also fixed the YouTube issue. I haven't had any problems with it. I'm going to have links for all of these, uh, both of these sites on here. You see right here, CDM4DX camera fix. Somebody found a quick fix for it, and P3 Droid made it into a flashable zip. Um, so all you do is flash it in Clockwork Recovery, um, and that'll, that'll take care of the YouTube and the uh, camera problem. The camcorder is still not working, but that's going to be fixed in a later date. Now I also wanted to show you um, something else that's really cool about signage mod I'll wait for this thing to focus a little bit if you go into theme chooser you can load different themes through the market the CM uh, signage mod themes um, I just looked up CM7 and found a couple of them but whatever theme you want uh, you just hit apply right here and then you reboot the phone and that's going to change your icons, that's going to change your notification bar, it's going to change your framework. Whatever they've done in the theme, it's going to change it. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, cool new feature. I've, I've never messed with CM7 before or signage in my period. So um, that was a pleasant surprise. And something else I wanted to show you too. Um, like I said, it comes with ADW, but I've also loaded Go Launcher and Launcher Pro on here. Launcher Pro is the uh, launcher of my choice. And I wanted to show you how well it works um, with Launcher Pro. Still kind of loading right now, but you can see it's it's snappy. So for all of you Launcher Pro users, it does work very well with it. Um, it's got people that aren't familiar with it. It's got a scrollable dock in the bottom um, that you can put swipeable um, actions towards. See that launched my camera. Uh, very use, uh, very useful launcher, just like ADW. They're pretty much the same as far as the options you get. Um, some people just prefer one over the other, and also put Go Launcher on there too, which is 
uh, pretty much a combination of the two. It runs extremely smooth as well. Has the same kind of features on it, scrollable dock. Um, you can put gesture support for each of those just like a Launcher Pro. For those of you wondering about battery life, uh, at work I generally use an average of an hour to two hours worth of navigation which everybody knows that sucks down battery life worse than anything else. Aside from that I send plenty of text messages, emails, browse the web a good bit, and even watch a couple YouTube videos on average. And I would say that I average between eight and nine hours worth of battery life. Uh, I've heard other people complaining about CyanogenMod and the battery life and honestly for the speed and performance that this ROM delivers I really don't know where that's coming from. If you're coming from one of the other major ROMs I would definitely say give this one a shot. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. That's about it for now guys. I just wanted to do a review for people like me who had never seen CM7 before. I had no idea what the settings and tweaks were about. Uh, the stuff that really makes this ROM fun. So I hope it helped with your decision to try it out. If you have any questions about it, um, hit me up. I'll be glad to answer and I will probably do another review uh, once CM7 gets a little further along, um, closer to an official stable release. And uh, that should be it. I will see you guys around.